Hello everyone, the Nord Medic here. In this video, we will talk about the idea of hypertrophy. Hypertrophy means the increase in size of cells leading to an increase in size of the organs. So here is only increase in the number of cells. There is no new cells. Now what causes hypertrophy? Now hypertrophy can be either physiological hypertrophy where your muscles increase in size due to some physiological stimulation that for example exercise or there can be pathological hypertrophy like in case of hypertensive cardiac hypertrophy the hypertension is a pathological condition which leads to hypertrophy of heart now let's talk about the physiological hypertrophy now physiological hypertrophy can be due to increased functional demand as in case of a bodybuilder doing exercise or in case of stimulation by hormones or growth factors that occurs in uterus during pregnancy. Now skeletal muscle hypertrophy occurs due to multiple factors including mechanical signals like stretch, androgens or action of insulin like growth factor 1 on them. And this leads to increased production of muscle proteins and increased myofibril synthesis leading to increase in size of the muscle or muscle hypertrophy. In pregnant uterus, both physiological hypertrophy as well as physiological hyperplasia occurs. Now, as the baby grows within the womb in the uterus, the massive physiological growth of the uterus is a good example of hormone-induced enlargement of the organ. Why? Because the smooth muscles of the uterus has estrogen receptors and when estrogenic hormones act on those estrogen receptors, they bring about hypertrophy or increase in size of the cell. This causes increase in size of the uterus. Now let's talk about pathological hypertrophy. Now pathological hypertrophy include cardiac hypertrophy due to secondary to hypertension or aortic stenosis, where the, there's increased demand of increased pumping of the heart. Now this hypertrophy of the heart makes it maladaptive leading to heart failure, arrhythmias and sudden death. The mechanism of the hypertrophy remains increase in production of increased production of cellular proteins. Now, the cardiac muscles has receptors like insulin-like growth factor 1 receptor, adrenergic receptors, and mechanosensors. All these receptor signaling pathways play an important role in cardiac hypertrophy. Now, in summary, we can say that hypertrophy means increase in the size of the cells, which lead to an increase in the size of the affected organ. Hypertrophy can be pathological or physiological. Now, we talked about examples of physiological hypertrophy that is due to increased functional demand or pregnant uterus and we talked about in examples of pathologic hypertrophy that is hypertensive cardiac hypertrophy in about which we will talk in details in some, some separate video i hope you have understood this video well if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button share this video among your friends and peers of your medical school and for notes and flashcards follow us on instagram and facebook the link will be in the description box for medicine related content check out my channel and you can get in touch with me via these following links and for biology related content you can subscribe to animated biology with arpan who is a proud collaborator of this channel until then bye bye see you in the next one